everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to my hair care routine video so i've never filmed a video like this before but i have over the last few months to a year introduced some really great products to my hair care routine um, and my hair is actually really healthy at the moment so um, a couple of you actually requested this video as well but i thought that i would share my favorite hair products and what i do and how i get my bouncy waves that i wear kind of on a weekly basis so i have just had a shower um, i've obviously done my makeup as well um because i didn't want to do this whole video with no makeup on but i've had a shower um, and washed my hair i've just quickly put it up in the towel i don't like to leave it in a towel for too long because I feel like it goes really really frizzy so i've got a lot of products here to talk to you about um, i've got shampoos uh, masks serums sprays oils um, and then i'm actually going to blow dry and curl my hair for you as well so you can see exactly how i do it i normally wash my hair about two to three times a week um, i'm quite lucky my scalp is not too oily so my hair doesn't get greasy that easily individually my hairs are quite fine but i do have a lot of them so it kind of gives the illusion of really thick hair and also just to let you know um, i don't have extensions or anything and i don't dye my hair so it's all my own natural hair but first i thought i would talk to you about shampoo so as i said i've already washed my hair and i used these shampoo and conditioner today um, i kind of alternate between these and another shampoo and conditioner combination i'm going to talk about in a minute so these are the Moroccan Oil Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. I've used these for quite a while now, probably about a year. The salon that I go to use these as well. So that's the reason I actually bought them. Now every time I use them, I get that kind of same smell of my hair um, and it makes me feel like I've just had my hair done. But these are great. These are sulfate free, really healthy for your hair. Does exactly what it says on the tin. It's really smoothing and gives a great salon finish. Now I got these um, together in a set from Look Fantastic. It's currently sold out on there at the moment, um, but I've linked the set on Feel Unique. And I think it's £46 around there, which is not too bad for a really good quality shampoo and conditioner. And these last quite a long time. So this is what I use today, but I do alternate with those two and these two. So this is a shampoo and conditioner from Grow Gorgeous. They very kindly sent these to me. Um, it's a brand that I had tried before um, in my Look Fantastic beauty box. Um, just sort of I tried little testers here and there um, of their scalp mask I really enjoyed using that um, and they sent me these um, curl shampoo and conditioners so it says on it frizz free bouncy healthy looking curls and I use these because I find they really help lock in my curls I do naturally have quite wavy hair um, not I wouldn't say like curly but it's a bit wavy and um, if I leave it to dry naturally and as I said I do curl my hair quite a lot so I find that this really helps define the curls and makes them less frizzy because I have a lot of like regrowth smaller hairs up here um, that go like whenever I curl them. So this really helps to stop that happening. Uh, this is a more affordable shampoo and conditioner combination um, at 27 pounds on Look Fantastic. And again, the Grow Gorgeous are sulfate free as well, which is great. I only really use sulfate free shampoos now because I just find it so much better for my hair. Next, I'm gonna talk about some masks that I use. The first one is one that I've actually used today. I've just rinsed it out. It is the Olaplex number no. three, and this is the Perfecting, is it Perfecting? Hair Perfector. That's it. I got this again on Look Fantastic and it was £26 for 100 millilitres, which is quite a lot. Um, but I've used this about four times and it's about down to here. So it does last quite a long time, I think, but this is amazing. I'd never tried Olaplex before. I'd heard people go on and on about it um, and how amazing it is. And I'd never tried it and I thought this would be a good place to start. And I really love this. You'll probably see in my hair today how shiny and smooth and just in perfect condition it looks after i've used this i literally just pop it on after i've washed my hair leave it on for about 20 to 30 minutes and then rinse it off also if i think my hair is really suffering then i will just leave this on and sleep in it and then wash it off in the morning but i really do love this product and i think if you want to treat your hair then olaplex is definitely the way to go and then i have two other masks that i tend to use as well and again like alternate between the three i try to use a mask probably about once a week so i'll use each one for different things this one is from christoph robin and i've only started using this recently but i absolutely love it this is the regenerating mask with rare prickly pear seed oil god that's a 
mouthful and this again really smoothing but this also is really protecting of the hair as well so if I know I'm going to be curling my hair a lot during the week I will use this one because I know it's going to help to protect my hair this one also is really good for colored hair as well it works really well on natural hair I find it really brings out the natural pigmentation in the color of my hair but it also does that in colored hair as well so that is great for that this one is slightly more expensive well it's a bigger bottle so it's 250 mil and this one is 54 pounds so you do get quite a lot for the price and then finally this one is the Nan Oil hair mask with keratin you probably um, heard me talk about this one before it smells beautiful I love the smell of this one so fresh um, this one's really affordable this is 15 US dollars and this is sort of like a repair mask so I use this for when my hair is feeling a bit damaged so if I have used a lot of heat on it recently and I feel like the ends are breaking away or maybe it needs a trim then I will use this mask and concentrate it on the ends I forgot to mention with regard to this mask it's quite an intense one so I don't leave it on for as long I probably leave this on for no longer than about 10 minutes and the Nan Oil one I'll leave on for as long as I feel necessary before I rinse it out. So as I said, the Moroccan Oil Shampoo and the Olaplex of what I have already used on my hair. And I'm now just brushing through it with this wide tooth comb. This is from T3. Um, it came in a set with another brush as well. So I will link that down below um, along with all the other products that I mention and use in this video. But I just find when my hair is wet, I like to use this sort of comb. Um, to avoid putting any sort of tension on it um, because I find it breaks a lot easier when it's wet. So now that that is all brushed through, I actually have another Christoph Robin product to use. This is the Prickly Pear Hair Serum um, and I really like using this because it's super protective against heat. So this actually protects, what does it say? Protects up to 230 degrees centigrade and it helps reduce split ends and all that sort of thing. So I do like to put a bit of this on before I am curling my hair because my hair curlers are hot. I have thought about investing in the Dyson Airwrap, but I don't know if it's for me because my hair doesn't hold curl very well. I think it needs the heat. Let me know what you guys think, if any of you guys have it um, and would recommend it. So that's the Christoph Robin hair serum on and that is £44. I just feel so much more confident using a lot of heat on my hair knowing that it is well protected. So now I'm just going to blast my hair with the hair dryer. This is my T3 hair dryer. I absolutely love this. It's amazing. It looks gorgeous as well. It has a lot of heat settings, one, two, three, four five heat settings obviously a cool setting an ice cold setting and i find that my hair tends to hold a lot of water because there's so much of it it can take a really long time to blow dry so i find that this really helps with saving time with that let me plug it in it's not a cheap hair dryer this was 235 pounds but i really like it and it does the job so well i mean i know a lot of people will probably think any hair dryer does the same job and to a certain extent you are correct i do love using this one and i always use it on a cool setting as well so I'm just going to section off my hair um, I just split it in half normally um, and dry the bottom half first and then the top half just pretty rough because I am going to curl my hair afterwards it doesn't really matter how it blow dries the only thing I tend to do is blow dry downwards like that um, especially along my parting just because like I said I have a lot of like shorter regrowth hairs um, so they do tend to stick up if I just blast it like this then they will be upright so I tend to sort of smooth all my hair down by blow drying it like that. So now that my hair is dry I just quickly brush through it with a tangle teaser. Um, this is my favourite tangle teaser, it's a limited edition one and I just love it because it's actually got a little bit of a handle as well so it doesn't completely fly out of my hand. Okay so I've just got my curling wand on now, again this one is from T3, this video is not sponsored by them I promise. But this is the barrel I'm going to be using today, this is the one inch barrel. You can buy this part separately and then buy each one to go on it, you don't have to get all of them together. But mine came in the set. I have this big one, which is good for like really thick bouncy waves or if I want to do any touch ups. And then I also have this tapered one, which I use for more tight curls, um, more sort of ringlet style curls. So each of the barrels are 75 pounds, as is the holder here. Now I've got this middle one on today, as I said, the one inch barrel, because I just feel like it gives me um, the nicest curls that suit my hair. So I'm just going to separate my hair now. Um, again, really roughly like I did before, 
and I am using um, just some silk scrunchies to tie it up. Just because silk is really good for your hair, doesn't really leave any kinks um, and it doesn't tear the hair out or anything like that either. So I'm just gonna separate this top half. So these are the silk scrunchies that I have. They're both from Katrina Silks. I will leave them linked down below. They're so soft on your hair, which is great. I just take a small piece of hair, probably about this much, kind of like an inch wide, and then obviously just wrap it around the barrel. This set did come with a glove as well but I never use the glove <laughs> just hold it for about 20 seconds and there is the curl sometimes I just keep it tight to the head for about like five seconds I just find it keeps the hold nicely I will curl the other way towards my face so I tend to alternate it so I do one towards and one away just find it gives a nicer look to my hair a bit more fuller and um, a little bit more volume as well and there we go so I'm gonna finish that and I'm gonna speed it up for you. Okay, so I've already started curling my hair and realized I forgot to put the heat spray on. So this is a Moroccan oil, it's called Perfect Defense. Um, now we're just gonna have to ignore these few strands. <laughs> uh oh. Um, and I'm just gonna spray what's left. But obviously I did already use the Christoph Robin Serum, which has a heat protector in it. Um, but I do like to doubly protect my hair as well, especially when I'm blow drying and then curling because it's like two lots of heat so it's annoying that i forgot these parts but what can you do um anyway i'm going to carry on with the curling now okay so hair is curled it's very sort of ringlet like at the moment i'm just going to brush it out with my tangle teaser nice and gently um, just so I don't disturb the curls too much um, obviously it needs to drop out a little bit this is a bit too big for me um, so that's it brushed through and then I'm just going to go through with some oil now this is my favorite hair oil this is the Gizu honey infused hair oil I literally love this um, it's quite affordable as well this I think was $40 um, and this is the travel size, this is only 50 mil and it really lasts such a long time considering how much I use this. And I'm definitely going to be repurchasing when it runs out. So I'm just going to run this through my fingers. I probably use about three to four drops from the pipette. Um, and then, controversial I know, but I do put some on my root. Like I said earlier in the video, I have a lot of like flyaway hairs, um, a lot of regrowth, which tend to stick up so I just use the oil to kind of smooth them down a bit and then although my hair still needs to drop out a little bit I am going to um, spray it with some hairspray so this is the dry texture spray from Moroccan oil again um, and I love this I think the combination of this and the t3 curler are why my curls now stay in because they never used to they literally just used to drop out straight away i used to use a different hairspray i can't remember which one and a mark hill curler which i love the curler it was great but i just don't feel like it really helped my hair um and also i don't have any color in it or really any layers so there's nothing for like the curl to hold on to but yeah since using the t3 curler and this hairspray i find that my curls stay in for literally so much longer probably curl my hair about once a week um if that at the moment these curls will probably stay in for about three days i will um maybe touch them up a little bit but they do last a very very long time which is great and then to finish off my hair i'm going to use the gizu hair perfume and i love this i think hair perfume is such a good idea again this is the travel size and it lasts for ages um 50 mil and i think this was the same price probably around actually i think this was 38 dollars so yeah around the same price and it smells incredible and it's just such an idea to spruce up the smell of your hair i don't tend to use this too much after i've just washed it because my hair is still sort of smelling quite nice from 
all the serums and stuff but it's quite nice when you haven't washed your hair in a few days just to spruce it up with a nice smell so this is the finished look some nice big bouncy waves i've let them drop out a little bit um and just added a little bit of extra oil through the ends but this is how i like to wear it um i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing my full hair care routine and all my favorite products that i like to use on my hair do let me know if you have any recommendations for me um also, by the way, I'm not a hairdresser, so if I did some things wrong or I used some products when I wasn't supposed to, then that is why. But yeah, I've just found that these products work for me and for my hair, but obviously everyone has different hair types and what works for me may not work for you, but I just wanted to share what I've been using recently and hopefully give you guys a little bit of inspiration and a few tips. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed. I've got lots of exciting things coming within the next couple of months. And I will see you all next week with another video.